Welcome back to this channel for <coughs> solutions uh, of practice problems for actuarial exams. Uh, you can find information about me at the indicated website smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University uh, and you can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. I am um, the author of the BTDT manual for exam P, information about it, and you can purchase it at smarturl.it forward slash BTDT dash P. And I uh, teach online seminars for exams PFM, MFE, and MLC at Illinois State University. And that information is at smarturl.it forward slash BTDT dash online. If you would like to make a tax deductible donation, to our actuarial program at Illinois State University to um, help our students, go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Donations are tax deductible to the extent allowed by law. So here's the problem. In a block of car insurance business you are considering, there's a 50% chance that a claim will be made during the upcoming year. Once a claim is submitted, the claim size has the Pareto distribution with parameters alpha equal to 3 and theta equal to 1000, for which the mean is given by the formula theta over alpha minus 1, and the second moment is given by the formula 2 theta squared over alpha minus 1 divided by alpha, uh, alpha minus 2 uh, so divided by alpha minus 2 times alpha minus 1. Uh, sorry about this. Uh, only one claim will happen during the year. Determine the variance of the unconditional distribution of the claim size. So let y be that random claim size. Unconditional distribution. It's not conditional that a claim is made, but unconditional. Its probability distribution is mixed. Y is mixed. It's 50% in the Pareto distribution with parameters alpha equal to 3 and uh, theta equal to 1,000, and 50% probability uh, in a point mass of 0. So with 50% chance, no claim. That's why I'm talking about this unconditional distribution. Its mean is simply half of the Pareto distribution with parameters alpha equal to 3 and theta equal to 1,000 because half times 0 is 0. The, the point mass at 0 has mean of 0 and variance of 0, and the second moment of 0 as well. So half of theta of alpha minus 1 with the parameters that we have, that's half of 1,000 over 2, which is a half of 500, uh, 250. And the important thing to remember about mixed distributions is that the, the, the moments are the weighted averages of the moments of the distribution that the mixed one is built from. So the, the point mass at zero has the first moment of zero and second moment of zero. We can more or less disregard it, but the second moment of this distribution is also half of the second moment of that Pareto distribution. Um, and uh, that's half of 2 theta squared of alpha minus 2 alpha minus 1, uh, or that ends up being 500,000. And the variance is um, 500,000 minus 250 squared, uh, 437,500, which is answer B. Now you could also do this problem by defining x a new random variable, x equal to 0 when there's no claim, and x equal to 1 when there is a claim and the probability of each of the two values is one-half. So x is a Bernoulli trial with p equal to one-half. Then we see that y, given that x is equal to zero, is degenerate distribution equal to zero with probability one, while y, uh, given that x equals one, is Pareto with alpha equal to three and theta equal to 1,000. So based on this, e of y, given that x is equal to x, um, is zero when x is zero, and uh, 500 when x is 1, so that uh, e of y, given that x is equal to x, could be written as 500x, and the variance of y, given that x is equal to x, is 0 when x is equal to 0, and remember that formula 2 theta squared over alpha minus 2 times alpha minus 1, that's a formula for the second moment, so the variance is that minus the square of the first moment.
We can just plug in the numbers, that's 750,000. And the variance can be written as 750,000 times x. So then we use the formula for the unconditional expected value based on conditional variance, and a formula for the variance based on conditional mean uh, and variance. So um, E um, of the variance um, of y given x uh, is E of 750,000 x, or 750,000 times E of x, and e of x is one half, so this this three hundred seventy five thousand variance of e uh, um, of y given x is the variance of five hundred x, which is five hundred squared times variance of x. Variance of x is one half times one half, uh, so um, it's p times q, and q is also one half. Um, if p is the probability of success and Q is the probability of failure in the Bernoulli trial, the variance is PQ. Um, so that's 62,500, and the variance of Y is E of variance of Y given X plus variance of E of Y given X, so it's, um, it's just the sum of the two things we just calculated, which is 437,500, answer B again. Please remember this is copyrighted material. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.